All right, aren't you against it? First race since pre. I mean, yeah, pretty good performance, I'd say. Thanks. Do you, you agree? Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Um, I've only, yeah, it's it's been first race since pre. I've only actually had about five workouts since pre. Um, so I'm really just getting back into it. Um, just getting into the into the rhythm of, of training and want to race more. What happened after break? I actually tore my uh, planner um, with about 800 to go in pre. Oh wow! Um, so it's been just just had to take a lot of time off and and uh, make sure I was healthy before I started getting back on. And was it bugging you beforehand, or was it just like a straight tear in the race? No, it was bugging me a little bit beforehand. So I wasn't like 100% confident going into pre, but I, I um, you know, it was a little, it was just minor plantar fasciitis type of things, and then 800 to go, felt a, a, a lot of pain. So, yeah. so you pretty much only started working out like in the last month. Yeah. Were you running? Yeah. Like when, no, when, I, I, when did you start started, running? I started running about six weeks ago. I've been running for about maybe six or five or six weeks and then working out for about two weeks. Are you surprised on two weeks of workout so you could get there? Yeah, I'm surprised I felt um, felt this good, yeah. Um, but I'm uh, so really happy with it and just glad to be healthy and grateful to be here. Yeah. So with the whole Oregon Project thing, you're more Pete was your coach, right? Yeah. But how has that affected you? Like, what's the plan going forward? All that stuff. Yeah. Um, it's weird. It, it hasn't. Uh, it's it's kind of weird to say that it hasn't affected me too much. Um, other than my name just kind of getting me uh, dragged through the mud, but I understand all why. And, um, I'm gonna head out to Portland in a in a little bit and meet with the group and um, and see where we go from here. Yeah, but uh, but you know, I know the group stay all of these guys are staying together. And, um, I'm not too sure what Alberto's guys are gonna do, but I'm, I'm, I'm confident with being here. For you guys, it's been the same. You've been training in Portland. Yeah, I've actually been on the on the East Coast for a while. Um, well, the guys were oh, right. well, the guys were out, and uh, it was kind of it was kind of an interesting situation. You know, when the news broke, and everyone's you know uh, at Worlds and in the heat of it. You know, I'm a thousand miles away in uh, in Maine and not dealing with it, and so it was kind of uh, weird. So yeah, have you moved back here permanently, or what was the deal? With I that? was back here. Um, I was go. I was um, meeting with them for training camps and, and kind of, but kind of basing back here. Um, but uh, I'm gonna base back in uh, Portland for the upcoming. Year. What was the decision to go to Maine? I just was kind of. Uh, you know, the, the group, when I moved back home, the group was a lot different. Um, it was, uh, you know, no, no Donovan, no Craig. It was just me and Matt, kind of, in a way. And so we both, uh, Matt moved, and then I moved, and I moved at the same time. It was just kind of, uh, kind of just did it for personal reasons. And uh, and now, um, with a big year coming up, and a lot of changes turned into the group, um, yeah, I want to be back in Portland. Yeah, who will you mainly be training with? Um, with with Craig and Donovan and uh, and, and those guys over there. Yeah. So there's not like a not like hey, a five. there weren't many. Yeah. Well, it's, it's such a big group. There weren't. You're the kind of five k guy, right? I'm. Oh, I, yeah, I'm kind of five k guy. I was. I'm. You know, and Seguru is one of Pete's guys, and and but he's kind of the marathon guy. But I, I'll I'll work in with him. Um, yeah, it's weird how even with uh, such a big, big group, big, you know, before, you know, with, you'd assume there's a lot of 5K guys to work out with, but, uh, you know, I never, I never seemed to work in, you know, I never worked in with Yomi for, for any of those guys. Um, so, but I get good training with Craig and Donovan, and I love it, yeah. Yeah, and you talk about your, your name being kind of, I don't know, dragged through the mud. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, what do you feel about people who are like, oh, everybody in the group, you know, there's I get reputations it. are tarnished or... Um, it's, it is, of course I'm sad about that, and, but I, I understand why, and I understand I put myself in the situation. Um, I'm not confused about that. Um, it's, it's not true in the sense where everybody's doing, um, you know, but I do get why they're saying that. So, um, I'm not like mad at that, it's just upsetting, but, um, yeah. What year did you join? 
I joined 20 after the summer of 2015 or fall of 2015. So that was the right after the, the PDC stuff was in there. Did break, yeah. So I didn't put myself in the situation. Um, what, but I know. Did you ask a bunch of questions, or what did they tell you at the time? Or? At the time, Alberto did say he's like, you know, these are just allegations, and nothing will come of it. And um, you know, to be honest, I didn't know. You know, you, you, one of the things recently, you know, a lot of people have been like, oh, I didn't even know that this trial was going on, and um, people are like, there's no way they didn't know. But, you know, I really didn't know until maybe a week before it broke. Um, I was talking to Peter Cray or somebody, and they're like, hey, the, the, the um, results of the trial are going to come in. And I, was, I truly had forgot the, just because it wasn't in the, you know, it's been years. So I Who were you talking to? I think it was Pete or, or Craig or somebody. Yeah, I can't remember. But, uh, yeah, so... I don't think they're lying when they say that they didn't know. I, I think they just didn't know. They knew allegations, maybe, but I don't think they knew that there, that there was like some official trial. Yeah, are you mad at Alberto for not telling you this whole trial was going on? And um, I mean, I didn't have much of a relationship with Alberto. You know, I mean, I was not 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 very close with them. You know, especially since I moved back to to Maine. You know, there wasn't I traveled to Portland, but you know, there wasn't much of a relationship I'm not mad at him he was he was nice to me and uh, treated me fair even though he wasn't my coach and stuff like that and what do you so. think about all the I don't know what he got convicted on or I mean that stuff sort of since it was kind of out, most of it was out there it ended up being a lot of the stuff that was in the BBC like the testosterone experiment yeah you know some people are like oh it's just technicalities nothing was proven that he doped anyone you know like besides yeah. his own sons and Steve Magnus but I mean, yeah. is that enough for you to have him banned? You know, Nike's still defending him. I mean, are, do you have any thoughts on that whole process? It's an, I, um, yeah, I mean, I got thoughts on it. It's, it's, uh, I mean, he got banned. So clearly a lot of people felt he did something wrong. Um, and he's appealing it, but who knows? I don't know what's, what's going to happen. And, um, I want to think that the, the process and the, what happened, you know, if they banned him, they must have had, you know, they had some, some serious stuff, and, um, you, you know, the technicalities and uh, the things like that, They're, one of the things that's been thrown around a lot is, like, the gray, this gray area, it's maybe not cheating, but it's, is it, it's really not, not cheating, I don't know, it's, you're getting into some weird morality issues, more, like, things in, the, in this area, and, it, I can understand. I totally understand. Yeah, did you ever feel like you were doing anything in a gray area or like no, supplements? I mean, no. It's 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 kind of. I mean, I've never been told to take any supplements or anything by Alberto, um, especially and not Pete either, and um, I've never seen anything um, suspicious in the group. Um, even nothing that makes me think, even think to be suspicious. So it is. So you never saw Doctor Brown or anything. I know, no, I never saw that doctor. But Doctor Brown? Yeah. Yeah, no, I never saw him. Um, and uh, yeah, so it, it's 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 pretty. It's a. I know the allegations were before me. Um, everyone's saying that, never, but everyone's like, oh, there's, there's, yeah, they're before these guys, but there's no way it's not still happening. I mean, if it is, I'm just not seeing it. Um, and I, yeah, I'm not taking part of it, no. Yeah, it's just sort of, even though like gray area, I don't want someone winning because they yeah. have a pill, even if it's legal, that no one else has, or that yeah. sort of stuff, but, yeah. It, uh, yeah nobody, no. nobody, I still think now we don't really know what was going on. I think, yeah, I mean, it's, I'm sure if you ask Alberto, there's no such thing as a gray area. Right. There's either right or wrong. So if I didn't, if they're not gonna, if I didn't break the rules, then I'm not doing anything wrong. But I do think that there's people um, that are like, no, there, there is a gray area. Maybe you didn't do anything right. wrong. I mean, I see Alberto's point. I do too. But then I can. I guess I can John Brandt, the guy who wrote the biography, and Alberto, he's like. Alberto sees it black and white, yeah. and you saw it as the same thing, and they just said, look, it's black and white, that broke the rules, so you're gone, even if you think it's just now, you can't say it's a technicality, I mean, right? I can understand, yeah, kind of I can understand, since it's USADA, and if Alberto is going to say, look, it is black or white, there is no gray area, it's either right or wrong, so you can't, don't say I'm right, but, and don't, it's either I'm banned or I'm, I'm not banned. so I think if you're going to, and if you're gonna play those, if it's gonna be like that, you're gonna get into some 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 weird situations, which clearly 
you know, he's gonna, and Alberto pushes, pushes the line, and uh, clearly he pushed it too far. And so, like, you know, the Mark Parker said the group was being disbanded. Is that more just sort of like a... I don't know, marketing thing or a naming thing. Um, you know, it I seems like Pete, you guys, Pete's gonna take over, right? I mean, well, I Pete's, mean, Pete's taking over Pete's guys. Right. I don't know what Alberto. I guess the other guys one. I are. guess there's a whole other crew that's. It's 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 tough to because I wish there was more of a kind of um, a difference between groups before, not just because of what's happened with Alberto, but because I felt like Pete should have been getting more credit. It was frustrating for me to see how much success like Donovan and Craig had and then be just like said like oh those are just Al Sal, Al Sal guys and I'm like that was upsetting just because I know Donovan and I know Craig and I know how hard and I know Pete and so it's I wish that he got more credit so I wish there was a little bit more of a separation or at least more of his credit for Pete um, but yeah I don't know what um, as far as, sorry, back to your original question, um, I don't know, like, as, it makes sense for the group, I feel like, to be, I mean, to, I guess, to be disbanded. It's, that's kind of Alberto's baby, and it started with really Alberto and Galen, and, um, you know, I, I feel like at this point, you know, it, it just kind of is the right thing to do. So next year, back to running. Olympic year. Yeah. Is 5K going to be the focus, or? I think so. Um, you know, I, I want to... I still think the five I, 5K is my is my bad, best event. The 10K is uh, it's just tough because you don't get a lot of chances to run a good 10K. So um, um, I'd like I think I, I in the future in the future I will I can be a good 10K guy. But you got to stay healthy. You got to put in the work and and also you got to run the fast times. But I think I'll I think 5K and will still be my event. Yeah. And. I don't know, like your performance today, have you been working out by yourself up in Maine, or where yeah. have you been? No, yeah, i just been uh, working out by myself um, in Maine, and you know, now I'll, I'll meet up with, uh, with uh, the guys out in Portland and do and more work, and start chipping away at that, yeah. So, I mean, back to the beginning, kind of, it's got to be very encouraging, I feel like, today, right? Just this was great. I'm actually, like, this is one of the best races, like, most encouraging races I've had in a very long time, yeah. And the, and the, and the race itself, the gun went off. Seemed like the first was it three or four guys sort of got away from you. Yeah, I kind of got um, uh, stuck in a tough position just by myself. I mean, I, tr I uh, the the army guys went, and then it, I kind of hesitated a bit, and ended up doing a lot of work just by myself um, for uh, I don't know how long, maybe half a mile, just trying to break that gap. But eventually I did, and I'm really happy I did that and managed to uh, managed to. I just kind of stick it out, grind it out, and uh, I'm very happy with it. All right, good luck. What's next? What's your next race? Do you know? Um, I think I'll do Manchester. Yeah, I think that'll be the next race, and I'm not sure after that. All right. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you.